Mitiana Municipality Legislator Francis Zake faced the Committee of Rules chaired by Bugweri County Member of Parliament Abdu Katuntu and submitted that he can't defend himself in a committee which according to him lacks jurisdiction to handle matters that happen outside parliamentary premises. Chairperson and colleagues, with respect, let it be known from the onset that the that I challenge this committee's jurisdiction to investigate matters alleged to have happened outside the principles, the principles of Parliament. As such, I am here only out of respect I have for you, honorable colleagues, and this institution, but necessarily not to defend myself. Zake has also noted that the alleged outburst on social media was provoked by the Deputy Speaker of Parliament who mocked him over his torture. And we get cruel remarks from government officials and security spokespersons asserting that I fake the torture. The last person I expect is sure such cruelty from is my Speaker of Parliament because she's a wife, a mother and the head of an institution that I should be doing, that she should be doing everything possible to help to rehabilitate me, not instead of victimizing me further. If you were me, you would understand how hard it is for me to think that she should be the one appearing before this committee, Honorable Chair, but not me. Nevertheless, I forgive her. Zake has also questioned committee proceedings because the case was already decided by parliament, he says, since his security detail as a commission of parliament was withdrawn without any explanation. I already found guilty of these allegations even before the matter first came up on the floor of parliament. On the chair on the 11th February, my security detail, to which I am entitled as a commissioner of parliament, was unceremoniously withdrawn without any explanation. That was my first punishment, Mr. Chairperson. Zake had requested for three days to submit his objection in writing, but the committee chairperson Abdu Katun to gave him only a day to do so. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.